I phoned Sky the other day, it's just to get a quote from there, but it'll be the same with the sister boy. Hey Joe, can I get parts please? Yeah, who's going? Sandy from SJM. Let's all have a guess. The major supplier to British industry of trucks, buses. What were you? Two. Two fifty plus that. Three ten plus that. Two ninety plus that. Through a nationwide network of eighty nine service points, providing a wide range of service. Scan the MRS, Mark speaking. Hi, Mark. It's Sadie here at SJM. How's tricks, pal? Eh, yeah, we're alright. I'll just wait to see how much this one's gonna hurt me. I'll just want to get a quote for a, a part here. Um, now, do you know the two, you know the cold hoses that run to the Ad Blue tank, right? And they run down the chassis, but then... The heated, the heated cooler ones. Ah, yeah, the heated ones, sorry, yes. Um, uh, so, do you know how they come up under the cross member just in front of the drive axle? You know the metal pipes on that bracket? Any pictures? Aye, right, hold up. Right, okay, let's look at the pictures. We've all got bets on how much this has got to cost, like. Uh, who's, uh, what, what are you guessing then? Um, uh, we've got... Number two's the bracket. We've got 260, 290 and 310 plus the VAT all on it. Some okay. belters went and said 120 plus the VAT and I'm like, I don't think it's going to be that. If, if we can, we're just going to buy it, but I think we have found a way just to do it a bit cheaper, but I did say I'm going to see how much it costs for the genuine part first. Yeah, it's not terrible. 185 plus VAT. I've got one on the shelf. 1.85 plus fat. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, problem is, I'm actually down in Buddy uh, Bell's Hill today. I was going to maybe try to do it when I came up your way today, but... Oh. Let me see if they've got one, two cents. Yeah, not Bell's Hill, Eurocentral. I see if Eurocentral's got one. What yeah, Eurocentral got one. Right, right, thanks very much, Abba. I appreciate it. Right, cheers, right. boys. No worries, right. Cheers, bye-bye. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be as cheap as that. I didn't think it was going to be as cheap as that. Here, 185 plus fat. Well, we'll get them off. We'll give it a stab. Make a wee change. These are the heater pipes, which is coolant that run to the Add Blue system, and you can see that is it. So, uh, it's not my biggest fear, which was liner seals. Touch wood. Um, so, I think we're just going to replace that. How did you know? <laughs> and you just pulled as well? You feel like an ass. Oh, did they? <laughs> I don't know, I bet I might just buy it then. Euro Central? Yeah, well, it was everyone else, but it says Euro Central's got one in stock anyway. Hi guys, right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be an expensive day for me, but not too expensive, hopefully, but it's just transport and this is how it works. Um, basically, last night, uh, airline blew on the main tank feed. Um, what had happened is one of the tank brackets had rotted and broken um, and it was on the top side so I never seen it during inspection but it's things we'll have to look out for in the future which is it's one of these things um, it was just on the top side not the bottom side so anyway that blew and the tank slid forward and the exhaust gases are that hot they blew the airline as the airline blew it's just a crash of everything. In the process of that, though, we have found I've had a, a, a coolant leak on my old unit. Nothing major, and it was very... It was never predictable. Sometimes it would use two litres, sometimes it would use six litres. Uh, it, we couldn't work out where it was going. I've checked the side of the heads, the gases, the line... Like, oh, maybe it's liners, but there was no water in the oil. It, it was so... We couldn't figure it out so lucky and relieved it is the the two heater pipes that run to the ad blue system so i'm just going to buy the bracket it's 185 quid from scary plus the vat ouch but it's a lot better than uh, rebuilding an engine but i've actually had to change things around uh, i've got two wide loads to move i've got movement orders in place but thank god um I've spoken to the customer 
uh, they are quite happy for me to put it back that allows me to get the load I've got in the back carry on with that and do all the other stuff we are, well, this is busy people have been following them which is grand uh, but yeah let's get my lorry on the road again my girl And 185 pound litre plus the vat, we are sorted. So, loads of nice new trucks down there. Uh, you won't be looking at them, Sandy, sadly. You do not have those kind of uh, budgeting, not after last year. <laughs> oh, um, we were making a decision, could we have literally fixed this on the cheap, but like we could have came up with something, like to join it and just bypass that metal pipe, but then, Sometimes you might as well just crack on. Oh, that's a reverse sandy and crack on, do the right thing. But let's get it done. And I felt quite positive. Uh, is that the same one? It's on a list of you. Aye, that's Aye, that's Aye. 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 Give me a muggle game from Scanning now. Might need a, might possibly a top one as well. Might need a right, so we're basically done. Just see so they're straight with that. These ones at the top are 90 degree. Right. We'll need to do the Jubilee clips for the hose as well. Right. The other side down there the metal's just expanded. You might be able to press that and that's like a horseshoe in there. Ah, because usually you press that in and it expands out. Yeah. But the rust has expanded into the space, so you just you can't get it in. Ah, because that was only a year ago they came over there and they're like, we had them all yeah. off multiple times, but it just shows you what. That's just fucking rotten to death. I don't know why I take a chance, oh, sir. He's got new ones. You only want to take a chance, because if that blows off and you're on the road, you'll dump your coat, and it could cost you an engine. Like road again. And you stuck it inside the road as well. Uh, that's a funny place for so me. At night. Each. Each. I'm going to say nine, nine pound plus of that each, right? Just, I've, got a, I've just got a funny suspicion after that. <laughs> I'm going to say nine pound plus of that. Do you know what? That'll be like a big surprise. These will be a shock horror. Oh, 85 pound of fucking pop. <laughs> <laughs> 500 quid or so. Can I see if you can see the Jubilee clips that hold the, the rubber hose onto them? Oh, aye. See if you can get the Jubilee clips as well. Aye. I've just been a parts boy today. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I don't have to get manky. That and just pay the bill. Right, on our parts run, here's the problem I've got right now guys. My truck is still a great wee truck, it's, there's no harm, the work, I've had it for nearly five, it'll be five years in July, it is grafted like hell, like myself, it's been a great lorry, but we are starting to get these niggly little problems quite often now, and it's like, and it's, it's things that just happen, they don't, you try to do your best to avoid them, but it's just, it is what it is. I am looking, the prices of the trucks in the second hand market have came right down, it is a buyer's market right now, but at the end of the day, we're still trying to get payments off of people, it is difficult, everyone's struggling, like they always are, we'll see what we can do, but I want to get a newer truck, but I don't know, I'll have to see. Nope, no. Scanny uh, Eurocentral do not do this part separately. Edinburgh does, uh, Newbridge. They're 33 pounds each plus the vat, uh, or I have to buy the whole hose here. The whole hose here is like 200 little pin hose. I mean, four of them, not happening, not happening. Yeah, I mean, um, or I was wondering. Well, I'm just wondering because I just checked Amazon, you can buy a whole box for 15 quid. I know. <laughs> Type that part number on eBay and you get like a, a box of three for 15 quid. It's the usual. So, oh, I bought this, a kit, and uh, that was the only way I could get them because the fittings were actually in the kit. The kit was a uh, 150 quid, a bit of negotiation, but it's better than spending 800 pounds in hoses. Get the kit. Best way, there was no way to get it. Okay. Was it? Yeah, an Amazon kit? No, that's alright. It's something to keep you in there. It is I, the bogus gas man. <laughs> For this people has been your undoing. Uh, this people has <laughs> been your undoing. So we've bought, we've sourced 
the parts that are basically Scanny use, and I've bought a genuine Scanny part, which is the pipe work. So, new tank, new straps, genuine Scanny. Also, this is like sourced after, but I think last time I bought one of these tanks, it was £360 plus the VAT, and then the straps on top. I think this is, I don't know how to check, but I think it's about 80 quid. Big savings. Uh, 195 plus the VAT. I had to buy a whole kit, but didn't have to buy any hoses. Yeah, so big savings, big savings. Oh. Reverse out here and get back into my trailer and get moving. Where are you already? See when you think you're getting somewhere with them. Right, that's us. Oh, back on the road. Back to you and the boys. But I've got to catch up. I've got to get on to get this tracked up the road. I've got widespreads to move this week. I have got quite a busy week, actually. So this is me, a wee bit of a stump on it. So I'm going to be on the phone. So the next hour going, eh, can we swap your road to here to there? But these things happen. Out of that, right. I always like to fit genuine parts, but now that I look into things, like things like sensors, I fit genuine sensors, all that, or you know, engine parts, but there's some stuff like things will be wab, cool. See if you do look around, you can save yourself quite a lot of money. Don't fit cheap, but you can find the original what the manufacturers use, right? Like if you watch Matt Armstrong's channel, right? Brownie channel, what he does, you'll be able to see everything on there, what he means. Cross-referencing parts, sourcing things. Uh, like I said, we put the genuine uh, metal pipes on. <music> Guys, here's the thing. I don't know, like, this truck, I love it, it's great. But, she is, it's just niggly wee things all the time. I mean, she's bought and paid for in a couple of months do, do we try and run her for another year but then what will I spend on her in a year I could get really bad problems or do I put her on the light nice easy work I mean, what do we buy how much do we spend uh, these are the choices you've got to start making because the next truck this has been a great truck the next truck might not be as good no wait and see Everyone keeps asking me what's my when am I getting a new truck and I'm like, I don't know. But people pay their bills and I can afford to buy one. We are busy now, but we might not be busy later on. It might just be a spell now, but I'm not planning to be and I'm gonna keep working. I could do there's loads of other factors to it. There's loads of other factors to it. We are busy right now, but we're gonna be busy in a couple months. I'd like to think so. Love me another I'll make it work. I'm going to try and find a deposit. I have to sell this guy. My current truck. But for what I get for, should we just keep her as a spare? And there's more maintenance, more insurance. I don't know. But here. If you like my content, subscribe. Remember to watch, hit the bell icon because then maybe I can start making YouTube money. <laughs> I'll be honest, if I was making YouTube money, I'll tell you the truth right now. 
I wouldn't be spending it on the haulage business. Well, I'd lie, I'm actually lying. I'd probably spend something if I wanted to do something special. Uh, you, uh, you would say that, but I'd still be doing running this business as a business. SJM would still be a business. Oh. We can't earn its own keep. We can't earn its own keep. I ain't gonna cheat. Oh, oh look. Another device that I've got to try and figure out how to get going. I've had a voucher before. Right. Phone Richard. I know I was oh, why did you find out when you put it on? I thought it was the same as the last one I moved I had all these cranes on, but they're all different. Right, this is it. Hold on, there we go. Whee! please. I want to get my dinner and I'm gonna well, I'm gonna put this trailer away. Tidy this trailer up, I'm gonna get my dinner and then I'm gonna go get my other load back down the road. Right guys, trailer all packed, tidied away. Um, I'm away to go get my other load to carry on the rest of my week. I've got widespreads, well wide aye, widespreads to move, movement orders. I've got stuff sitting there where there's plenty to come but this is a recurring factor. What do we do with S L F and DYY? She has been the backbone of SJM, she has been everything, she's a great lorry but is she going to start giving me grief? I'm going to give her a tidy up, get the grill repainted and other aspects that need done, side skirt put back on this is a grafting truck, it's not a working truck, it's a grafting truck it is out working, we're not here faffing around um, oh. but we do have to make the decision all in or mosey on but anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hello Shaban, thanks for watching this video. Uh, also remember, if you are fixing trucks, buy genuine, but you can find genuine elsewhere if you know where to look. Talk to people, source the parts. Flat out, flat broke. Oost!